Hello everybody, welcome back to the coven. My name's Lucia and today we are going to be doing a decoy jar. So a decoy jar is super super simple to do. I know it looks super intricate but a decoy jar is actually a very easy thing to specify or to customize for whoever it is you're doing it or for yourself. So for today's video you're going to need a jar. You're going to need some Florida water. You're going to need a black candle, some rose petals. Um, you're going to need a little baggie with something personal of yourself or whoever it is that you are doing the spell for. In this case, we've got a little bit of hair. Um, and then we've also got some clear quartz. Um, and I'm not too sure what this crystal is. Let me show you here. Um, I don't really know what it is, but the reason I picked it was because it was a nice green color. And as I was looking through my crystals, this crystal kind of really talked to me. Um, so I thought I'd use that one for the spell. And then we've also got some eggshells, some Himalayan pink salt, and some black salt. Um, and black salt is very easy to make. Let me light my candles here as I'm explaining to you. So black salt is very easy to make. It's basically just any type of sea salt that you have and a little bit of charcoal and then as well as some ashes. So any type of ashes you can use really. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna move these over here. So I'm gonna pop the jar open and I'm immediately going to pop this little jar in there. I'm just gonna pop it in there. So this is really, really easy and a quick, simple spell to do. You're just going to tear up some rose petals here. And the reason I've picked rose petals is um, this person is having a bit of a tough time with uh, relationships and love. So we're just going to pop that in there. Um, and this spell, it's called a decoy jar because it puts any sort of negative energy that is being headed your way or any sort of curses, for example, or any hexes that anybody may have put on you. And what it does is it kind of attracts all of that negative energy into the jar instead of into your life. So because I'm putting some of these rose petals in there, we are giving the intention that anything having to do in the love and relationships aspect, it will kind of help clear all of that stuff up. And how will it clear that stuff up? Well, it'll clear that stuff up with this lovely black salt. We're just going to put that in there. Black salt is very good for cleansing and protecting and sort of putting up a barrier in your life um, against any negativity. And the same goes with salt. Um, just plain salt is good. I feel like adding black salt and plain salt will really kind of help any sort of negativity. It'll kind of enhance it. And then here, I've just got a couple of cascarillas, or eggshells, that are crushed up. I'm just going to pop that in there as well. Uh, again, that'll just help protect and cleanse and restore any negativity and kind of get rid of all of that. And I'm also just going to pop a little bit of clear quartz. Clear quartz, it's a very good universal um, quartz to kind of use in any kind of magic. And again, if you guys can tell me what this nice little... Uh, crystal is. Again, I don't have any idea what it is, but I figured we could help with a little bit of money as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Florida water, which looks like this. It's really nice. It smells amazing. We're just going to take our Florida water. We're going to pop a little bit in our hand, just a tiny little bit. Again, using that little measurement of your little hollow palm. And we're just going to kind of put that on our hands. And we're going to put it, put the lid back on, screw the lid back on, cleanse that. And we're going to lift it up just a little bit. And with our right hand, we're going to go one, two, three. And this just kind of cleanses the whole jar, makes it look really nice, kind of brings all that positivity back. And then what we're going to do in a little second, we're going to pop that candle on, wait for it all to melt. So that way it kind of activates it. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to place it somewhere, somewhere preferably far away, somewhere you never go to. Um, I usually like to put these inside of a tree somewhere or just kind of somewhere where it's not going to break. Um, a really good thing to do is to bury it. Um, if you're a little more eco-friendly, you can wrap it in newspaper, so hopefully that doesn't break and then throw it in the trash, but it is customary to bury it or put it in the middle of a hollow tree. So let me show you guys how to activate it and how to start that candle. Hi guys, so I am back um, and I'm just going to show you how to light this uh, spell and activate it. So what you want to take is you want to take a little stick or a little piece of wood. I normally like to use toothpicks. This is the end of an incense stick, so you can also use that. You just want to light it from a candle. And this will just keep it as pure of a flame as possible for your intention. You just want to light it here, maybe. Usually toothpicks work a little bit better for this. There we go. Alright. And what you really want to do is you want to let this melt down, obviously keep it somewhere safe, somewhere you're not going to light your house on fire, preferably. Um, but yeah, keep it somewhere you're not going to get uh, any sort of draft or the flame won't go out because of something. Never blow on it. If the light goes out on its own and it hasn't melted all the way down, that just means that the spell is done and that the spell is activated and ready. Afterwards, when you store it somewhere, make sure that the flame is not lit, make sure that the flame is completely gone down, and make sure that it is going to be somewhere where nobody is going to open it, where nobody is going to find it. Um, like I said, preferably bury it underground. If not, wrap it up in some newspaper so it won't break and throw it in the trash so that way it's going somewhere where nobody will ever find it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming here and watching my decoy jar video. Like I said, this is a super simple video. The only thing that made it super intricate is that we customized it for whoever this jar is going to go to. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. It's called The Coven YT. Make sure you like, subscribe, maybe share it with some friends. And I hope you guys can try this spell on your own, hopefully someday soon. Thank you so much for coming out, and I will see you in the next one.